Hello and welcome on Thomas Geiger car, today with the brand new BMW 8 Series. Half a year before the car hits the European market in November 2018, I'm giving you a first glimpse into the new luxury sports coupe of BMW that is following the 6 Series. If you want to know where this car will fit into the market between Porsche 911 on the one side and Mercedes S-Class Coupe on the other side, join me on that first review and I'll tell you more about it. The design of the 8 Series is definitely more on the sports car side. For that reason, the car got about one hand shorter. It's two fingers lower than the outgoing model and especially it is two fingers wider. And you really can see the athletic stance and the athletic proportions if you look at the back and these hips that are really erotic. And maybe the most amazing part is the back because that is the perspective you might see this car the most. The car is using the same architecture as 5 Series and 7 Series. That means you have all the driver assistance systems, even a new one, a backup assist that records the last 80 meters you're driving and that backs up the car, for example, in a parking garage or on a tough courtyard um, without you touching the wheel or doing anything, just staying inside and the car is doing it on, alone. But beyond that, everything is focused on sheer driving pleasure more than in any other vehicle of that BMW segment coverage. That's basically based on a new V8 engine in the M850i, 4 liter for 530 horsepower, 750 newton meters. More than enough to go at 250. If you would open it up, it definitely will go faster and it will accelerate in less than four seconds from zero to 100. And everything you can expect for the drive drain, for the suspension, for the layout and for the chassis to enhance driving performance is added. You got a sport steering, you got all wheel drive that is focused to the rear, you got all wheel steering, you can even have a system that keeps the car straight in corners so it doesn't tilt too much. So everything on board that is used to enhance your driving pleasure. Really looking forward to drive the car. Technology-wise, the 8 Series is definitely on the sports car side. But if you look into the interior, you realize you're sitting in a luxury vehicle. We have beautifully crafted, high-quality leather on individual sports seats. We have interesting materials like the new gear liver with a glass application. Not my taste, but very fancy, very shiny and something totally new. We've beautifully crafted and laid out material, not too much distraction, very slim, very sleek, very elegant. And we have lots of digital technology to the connect system. We have a big touch screen here. We have a new digital cluster instrument that looks way more modern, way more aggressive and dynamic as we know it from five and seven series. So again, total perfect blend between sport and luxury. So we meet in the middle of the segment. As tempting as the driver's seat of the 8 Series might be, as uncomfortable is the back seat. Yes, BMW is calling the coupe a four-seater, but you don't even want to sit your mother-in-law on this bench. But BMW is promising improvement. First, they're going to bring a convertible that gives you more headroom. And later on, there's also going to be an 8 Series Grand Coupe. Four door, four proper seats. That's what you're going to go for if you're more than two people in the house. Thanks for joining me on that first glimpse into the new BMW 8 Series. A car that totally changed its character compared to the outgoing model. It is, from the interior, as luxurious and as comfortable as the S-Class Coupe. And it's supposed to drive almost as sporty as a Porsche 911. So it's maybe the perfect blend between a luxury coupe and a sports car. At least it's a car that really makes me curious and I can't wait to drive. Thank you, tschüss and bye-bye.